वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू आर एंजॉइंग योर कोविड नाइन्टीन वेकेशन सो ही आर आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट यूर सेकेंड टर्म सिलेबस बट द फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज रे ऑप्टिक्स ओके आई नो दैट इन क्लास नाइन टेन यू हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड अबाउट रे ऑप्टिक्स सो लेट स्टार्ट हेयर सो द फर्स्ट थिंग इज वॉट इज ऑप्टिक वॉट इज ऑप्टिक्स वॉट यू आर गोइंग टू डू As you can see on the board, I have written optics is nothing but the study of light. Okay, so light is an important topic in physics. Which one we need to study? Though they are going to more research on light, still whatever we have known, we are going to discuss as if it is a very important topic for your board. So, what is light? See here, it is a form of energy. Which makes sensation in our eyes. That means in smaller process it belongs to definition. Because without light we cannot see. If there is no light, we cannot see each other. Also, we cannot see the objects around us. Clear? But as we came in class 12, we need to change our concept a little bit. Why need to change? Say, in second definition, I have written that it is a part of electromagnetic spectrum. It is a part of electromagnetic spectrum which help us to see the object around us. Clear? So we all studied about the electromagnetic spectrum in smaller classes. So what are the spectrums are there? Gamma ray, X ray, UV ray, and this one we know, deep pure. Deep pure means the visible range from 4000 Armstrong to 8000 Armstrong, approximately. Except these other are there in Faraday's way. Magnetic wave, radio frequencies. Clear? So here you can see as we go from left to right, the gamma, the lambda, sorry, the lambda. That means wavelength of light or waves it increases from left to right. Clear? From there, so this is the part that means 4000 angstrom to 8000 angstrom. This is the part of electromagnetic spectrum. Which makes us or enables us to see the objects around us. Clear, students. Now see, our optics is mainly divided into two parts. While one side is ray optics, another part is wave optics. Clear. So what the difference between these two? The difference is in the ray optics we are going to study the dimensions of object. Which are much bigger than wavelength of light. Clear? And on the other hand, in wave optics, we are going to study the dimension of objects which are comparable with light wavelength. Here, the devices we are going to study that is about lens, about mirror, about plane mirror, about telescope. Whereas here, we are going to study about the sleep. Clear? And the phenomena. What we are going to study here, that means reflection, refraction, and there we are going to study about the interference. Okay, we are going to study about the interference, diffractions. Understood? So these are the two main branches where we are going to study about the very objects. But as we have studied already in smaller classes about reflections and all, let's start with the ray optics first. Clear? Now, let's see some properties. What is light? Correct. We know that it is a part of electromagnetic spectrum. Which enable us to see the object around us, but it has some properties. Number one, what is there? Light travels in what? Straight line. Not only light, any way, any spectrum, they always travel in straight line. And second one is the path. So 
flow with light travels is called as what you know that it is called as ray and it should flow the diagonal in this way as an arrow one correct the part through which light travels that part is called as ray and bundle of ray bundle of ray is called as b bundle of ray is called as b so there is different types of b if you are never in this way that is called as parallel beam of light so if they come out from one point from one source if they come out that is called Divergent, what divergent? And if they are going to meet in one point, let's study about this converging phenomena. What is it? So if it is met on a surface, yeah. the light they they never meet each other. They just on a surface. Yes. Yes. Well, if the light they are, they are, all the lights there, yeah. they come out from one point or you see the same thing. Yeah. Surface. So what is it? The light they are three meters. What is there? One point. Yeah. 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 Part I know. Some part of the light. Will reflect back. It's called reflection. Clear? And some part of the light will absorb there. Whereas the some part of the light will transmit there. It's called transmission. So whenever the light ray falls or strikes on the surface, what are the phenomena going to happen? There is a three phenomena going to happen. Some part of the light will reflect there, which is called as a reflection. Some part of the light will absorb, and some part of the light they will transmit. This is called transmission. So here we are going to study the first reflection of light. So you know already what is reflection of light. We have studied. Clear? Let's consider a polished surface. The surface is polished surface. Correct. So what is the point? When a light will form here, this ray is called as incident ray. Clear? The point is called as point of incident. Now we will draw one normal here. How do we draw the normal? We will draw a normal that is a perpendicular on the surface. We will draw a perpendicular surface at the point of incidence. Now, from here, the light will reflect back. It is called reflected ray. Clear? This is called reflected ray. So, so what is that? What you found out? This is incidence ray. This is normal and it is a reflected ray. Clear? The, ang the angle between the normal and incidence ray is called as angle of incidence and the angle between the normal and the reflected ray is called as angle of reflection and what is the what do you call this this two angle it is called as what do you call this angle as you know already glare's angle correct now this is the original path of the light so light supposed to go in this way but because of the reflection it reflected back there so now this one is called as angle of deviation angle of deviation now how will you find out the angle of deviation here you can find out the angle of deviation equal to as you know this straight line the total angle is 180 degree that means angle of deviation is 180 minus i plus r you can find out the angle of deviation as you are going to study the reflection, there is a law. There is a law of reflection. What is the first law? You already know. The angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection. Always for any type of reflection. Correct? And second point is incident ray, normal, reflected ray. This one. Incident ray, normal, and reflected ray. Light in same 
playing. Which play? Not this one, the lies in the same play. That means, which play? That particle play. I am talking about the particle play, not the horizontal one. The particle play, which is perpendicular to the surface, they all lie in the same plane, the incidence ray, normal and the reflected ray. Clear? Now, what you have seen there? Everything was find out the delta, we know that 180 degree minus i plus r. From the first flow, we know that i equal to r. So, that is can write here 180 minus, if you can write here i equal to i, otherwise 2i, or you can write 180 degree minus 2r. Clear? Now, what will happen in this case of spherical mirror or spherical surface? In case of spherical surface, if there is a spherical surface, now, where is our normal? We know that whenever we draw the normal, normal, the normal is always go to the center of the circle. Now, if like all on the spherical surface, the A, according to the law, it will reflect that in this way. Clear? Now, the next topic is normal incident. What do you mean normal incident? That means if the light or the ray it falls on a surface normally like this. What will happen? In that case, the angle of incidence becomes zero, angle of refraction also becomes zero. Which path or which way light gave, same way it will reflect back. Clear? If you have why is the normal ray? The incidence they fall uh, this way perpendicularly with the surface. The angle of incidence is also zero. Angle of reflection is also zero. So the path which path is okay, the same way it will go back. Clear? So next object we are going to study is image form by a plane mirror. Now you all know what is mirror. Every day we saw our face on the mirror, correct? What is a mirror? How we are making a mirror? It can be two sides. So by covering or by silvering its back side. By silvering the back side of a glass or anything, we can make it as a mirror. Clear? So first one is Point object. First one is point object. The how the eye should see the image of this point or this object. Let's see. So, point object will form, it will form inside the So, so many lights are coming. So, let's consider one light ray. It falls here and reflected. Another light ray falls here again reflected. Now, how what do we see? So, our eyes will see where the light The two light ray it means so, the I imagine that the light ray might coming back from this wire, which is called image.